Hey everyone, I'm Ron and today we are diving into Cal.com, a powerful scheduling platform designed to simplify your booking process. Whether you're a freelancer, business owner, or team manager, this video will show you how to set up and use Cal.com like a pro. So what's the purpose? So very first thing you need to, if you have ever struggled with scheduling conflicts, missing deadlines, meetings, or difficulty tracking availability, you know how frustrating it can be to manage bookings manually. Without a system like Cal.com, it's easy to waste time, lose focus and feel overwhelmed. I have been there too, trying to juggle multiple time zones, double booking and last minute cancellation. It's stressful, especially when you are trying to grow your business or manage a team. Right? So for those who don't know, Cal is an intuitive scheduling platform designed to help you manage booking, automate workflows and etc. Et so without wasting any time, let's get started. So once you come to the cal.com without uh, before making any camel, let's go and check out the pricing here. Obviously we have a free, which is only for one user. There's a limited resources here and permissions and features. And there's a team, which is you can get 14 days free trial, right? And it started at $15, this is organization. And if you're a really big company, obviously you can contact them. Let's go and check out the free one here. I will make an account with the Google. So one of the best benefit while making an account with Google is basically you can use Google Calendar. So if you use Google Calendar, then it's really easy because it get integrated uh, very seamlessly, right? Uh, but if you use Calendly or if something different, then you need to uh, integrate it here. Now I will give the username here. So I'll just write here, Ron Tronwa, what's your full name? So let's I'll just write your full name here. Okay, the username should be Filex Express. By the way, please subscribe if you found this information really 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 useful select the time zone click on next step here now you need to integrate so i'm already using google calendar but did you saw that you can integrate with something else right if you want so i can integrate by the way i can integrate two three google calendar or something else so i, I can just go and click on here i will connect my calendar later but let's say i will just connect it right now and here you can connect zoom meeting and here discord and there's a lot of applications right you can just keep on going and you will find it now let's go and click on next step now select your availability so when you are available so i'm available from monday to friday basically this time if you have a break so you can add a new time slot or break something right now click on next step here and here you can add your photo so let's add a photo now here you can write something about you right and here i will just go and click on finish right this is pretty easy to set up your account and uh, I hope you got to know. So once your account is set up, let's get familiar with the interface here. So in the interface here, you can see on the left side, obviously this is your name. If I just go and click on here, basic settings here, if you are you know, offline or if you're out of office, just you can click on here out of our office. So the green dot will be removed from here, right on your profile. So if I just go to my settings, I will get this basic settings here which I can change it. I hope there's nothing big brainer here. Now, so this is the dashboard. This is called event type. So here you can create an event. Let's say I want to create an event here. So there's a, uh, you know, quick chat. Uh, this is a URL, so I can just write here. So I'll just write here, quick meet, right? And the duration, let's say it's around 20 minutes and click on continue. So this is a link here. And I can share that link. So for example, let's say I want to share, I can copy the link. And let's say if I just go and paste it here, it will redirect me and we can attend a meeting. So I can send it to anybody and they can schedule a time, right? And let's say they schedule a time at 10, 14 a.m. So they can just go and click on confirm and my meeting is set with the, whichever person they have selected the time slot, right? Here you can see the meeting is scheduled, right? And the host is Ron Ronwa, that is me. And it's a video call. Now, once they go and click on here, automatically they will check into cal.com and they will able to create a meeting here. That is pretty easy, right? So I need to just give access here and they can set up a meeting. Okay, so yeah, I hope you understood the entire process, right? I'm hiding the camera, but uh, anyway, that person can join, right? And they can just create a meeting. Very simple, very easy to do here. Now you can see you can add a description and here you can see there's availability when you're available, right? So you can set the working hours, what's the, remote, uh, what's the limit of every meeting and advance and whether that meeting is recurring or not. So these are the basic features we can, which you can change it. 
and obviously you can just you know switch it whenever you want now there's an app installed so you can browse the app store which is basically cal app store the integration now let's say i do meeting through google meet so let's say i can set google meet here it's already connected because i'm using a google id here right let's say i want to go with the zoom meeting now i can just go and click on install app and i can use zoom meeting for every uh, google meet i need to log in by using my uh, zoom um, credentials here and it will get integrated so every meeting will happen in a zoom right so that is pretty easy thing to do now once your account is set up it's time to create booking pages for different types of meetings so i've already shown you how you can create a meeting here that is basically a quick meet now let's say i want to create another meeting so i can just go and click on this plus here and i can just give a title right and i can set it this meeting is for this specific purpose and very easy to click on continue and create booking page right so what is booking page so let me take you to the booking section here now here you can see this is an upcoming event where they can join once i go and click on join call meeting automatically i will be able to join the call right and every each person by given by given whatever the time slot they have chosen they can come up here now this is unconfirmed this is a recurring past and cancel meetings will show up here this is the availability now obviously if i have a team then they can use my exact interface and they can set it up for me and they can be given a very specific access let's say this is a collecting schedule right now i can create a team and that is pretty easy thing to do and you can manage your availability which ensures you only receive booking during suitable time that is where availability comes in now this is a routing here now routing forms are a great way to route your incoming leads to a right person so we just need to upgrade so let's say you are managing the call meetings right and you can schedule the meeting or you can assign the meeting to a right person right it, it generally it is used in a big enterprise right or a normal enterprise can be also used now this is a workflow so this is a very crazy thing because i really like so workflow enables simple automation to send notification and reminders enabling you to build process around your event let's say you're having a meeting with your client so once the meeting get end you have to manually send them it was a really nice to talking with you right blah blah right uh, thanks page something like that so you just don't need to do manually so you can set up workflow now while creating a workflow let me show you up by the way there's a lot of workflows which you can do here let's go to the workflows you can send automated mobile notification email so let's go to click on new on the top right and here workflow name so i will just write here test right and which type of it is so let's say it's a secret meeting 30 minutes 15 minutes quick meet right so let's say it's a quick meet apply to all uh, okay that is i think so if you choose apply to all then everything will be selected now you have to set a trigger so when it will start trigger right so when new event is booked so let's say i email should go to every person whenever they book a event with me so what's the action so send email to the attendees right here you can see there's a different different things here now senders names i will just write here send a name here ron ronwa so nobody will know that you're sending it through the cal right this is a message template so what's the message template here you can see now if you see this don't change this bracket things here because automatically it will add the name of the attendee and the date and the time here same goes for here it will let's say john so hi john this is a reminder about your upcoming event right so you can schedule in this way and just go and click on add action and send email to the attendee right and click on add right now you can change your sender's name and simply go and click on save now this is how basically a workflow is made and automatically it will send email to whatever trigger point you have set it so that's really easy and very simple now let's talk about the i think everything is done right and uh, let's talk about the insights here now insights is just like a report so it will just help you uh, all the activities which is happening across your team and across your dashboard across your company and show your trends that enable better team scheduling and decision making so let's say in our know, last 30 days there were around three percent or two percent meeting got cancelled so it will show you how many meetings got cancelled how many meetings you booked what was the ratios as compared to month on month right year on year so you can just do it and it will help you a lot by checking each and everything so this is it i hope you found this tutorial helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more productive tips don't forget to leave a comment below subscribe